not getting rid of me that easy. Okay, guys, I'm back with another video, and uh, I finally get to give you my uh, singular review on Raiders of the Lost Ark or technically Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. But uh, I'll get into that in a second. So uh, this is the first uh, entry into the Indiana Jones franchise, obviously. This was released in 1981 and directed by Steven Spielberg, which... Uh, it's definitely one of the best directors still working today. And uh, this is about a famed archaeologist by the name of Indiana Jones, of course, played awesomely by Harrison Ford. And uh, let me get into specifics why this is technically called Raiders of the Lost Ark. And it is that uh, intro. You don't see Indiana Jones above Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's just called Raiders of the Lost Ark. So uh, I don't know what the idea behind that was, but um, this movie starts in South America in 1936. And uh, Indiana Jones is kind of like unknown right now, but uh, he tries to uh, steal this golden monkey idol, and he has the help of a very young Alfred Molina. So Alfred Molina is kind of like a crony of Belloc maybe because uh, he kind of betrays him and uh, essentially Alfred Molina kind of like leaves him for dead so Indiana Jones or should I just call him Indy <laughs> he uh, he grabs the golden monkey but uh, it's a trap and he had that iconic boulder roll. So Alfred Molina is already across the ledge. And uh, he doesn't want to uh, give Indy his whip back. So Indy just takes a leap of faith and makes it, of course. And then he finds Alfred Molina impaled through the head, neck, and stomach basically on spikes one of the most metal movie character deaths I've seen <laughs> it's pretty brutal but uh, as the movie progresses Andy is stuck with like the native tribe and uh, he tries to find a way to escape. So uh, he does escape and he uh, goes to like his friend's plane and uh, you, pretty might, you pretty much know what his fear is when he gets to the plane. And his biggest fear is snakes. So it's a very memorable movie opening and a very memorable character introduction. So let's get into this perfect action adventure film. So basically Indiana Jones is in search of the Ark of the Covenant and uh, Renee Belloc played by Paul Freeman is also in search of it. So, this turns out to be like a globe-trotting adventure 
through probably the Middle East and uh, South America, of course. And this whole movie is all about religious artifacts, of course, because the Ark of the Covenant is said to hold the original Ten Commandments. And uh, Indy wants nothing to do with keeping it for himself. He wants it to belong in a museum, but Belloc wants it for himself. And uh, he's aligned with the Nazis as well. And uh, this is like pre-World War II, so it's not really a Nazi regime, but uh, there are some very interesting villains in this movie. But he also meets Marion Ravenwood, played by Karen Allen, and uh, she is basically the first indie girl, and she is arguably the best indie girl. I mean, come on, she's the original. So, uh, this movie's perfect. I really have nothing at all bad to say about it. It's really, really creepy near the end when they actually open the Ark of the Covenant and you see, like, all these uh, spirits just fly out of the box and people's faces are melting and blowing up. It's pretty graphic and brutal for a PG movie. Yes. This movie is PG. And it's got like one of the most metal climaxes I've ever seen. So, uh, yeah. I literally have nothing bad to say about this movie. And I would honestly give this an A+. One of my all-time favorite action-adventure movies. One of my all-time favorite movie characters. So, uh, yeah. Those are my thoughts on Raiders of the Lost Ark. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, I still have The Flash, Elemental, and Temple of Doom to give you guys within the next few minutes, or I might take a break and just continue doing this tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Peace.